<laughs> Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later, I hope you're enjoying. And, uh, yeah. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> okay. I need to look at the uh, the quest list again. So we're looking at... It's a bantha. Kari for what ails you. I think we've done that already. Yep. Um, the apple of my eye. Done. The spark of romance. Done. Face the frost talus, which we did. Fine keel. This is the one that I haven't done. Probably get rid of this now. Okay. Let's go. see how we go today. I mean, there's really not a whole lot left, so it's possible I could finish this today. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Imagine in Wasteland, there's not really that much left either. Almost, almost lost control there. There we go. All right. Okay. A lot of this, uh, I mean, I should go to Hatino. A lot of this compendium stuff. It's just, I would need to know what I'm looking for, and I guess finding them one by one is probably a pain. So, we'll get the photos, at the very least. Okay, easy, easy. Don't want to crash. It's 
so far have been pretty good. This is why I kind of miss the autopilot of the horse, because whilst we're going around, I can look at uh, wasteland. almost out of fuel. Yeah. You can kind of hear it. I mean, I know a couple of the wasteland ones, the statue thing, which I think I accidentally deleted. Hold on. I have the sword, I don't have the statue. Which, bit of a screw up on my part, but I can go get it again. I mean, outside of that, I think there's like about four to get.
trying to think. Fine peel. Don't remember what it is. But that's the only missing quest from Tabantha. money to get all these photos, but we'll see. I think the EX stuff will take a while though. It's gonna be pretty much the same case. This is where are these chests and just go around and get them. out of fuel. I can hear it. Ha! Huh. So it does make a different sound when it's almost out of fuel. You have to feed horses to keep them going. Nope. This motorcycle is more of a horse than the horse. Hmm. 
You can fade them to make them happy, but at a certain point, happiness maxes out, and then that's it. There's no point to it. through this. Wow, that was a long one. Whoa. Oh, okay, game. What, what is... What is... What is happening? You seem to be struggling a little. Is it because I have the motorbike in town that doesn't like that? So weird that they started to have a hunger system for the bike. Yeah, I mean, fuel. Maybe you can just assume the, the horse grazes on stuff between uses. I've got some news that should be music to your ears. I found a way to help you search for new objects using the Shika Center Plus. Please feel free to show your excitement. Anyway, I was conducting my research and found there are still some pictures of the past left on the guidance stone. If you add these pictures to your compendium. Yep. Oh. Ah, no, no, not at all. The Shika Sensor has been powered up to the Shika Center Plus. It can now access a picture registered in the Hyrule Compendium. Okay. It makes it much easier to search for the items you need, reducing one more burden you face in your travels. I'm good. Ah. Now then, go ahead and place... Okay. No, no, no. I don't normally like to let people use my little garden stone for free, but... I kind of want to see what'll happen, so I'll just let this one pass. Oh. Well, you heard it. Could you go over and use it? Sure. Oh. Thank you. Snap. Fuel is literally food, putting it in its stomach. Well, I'm putting it in a... It doesn't have a stomach. <laughs> it has, uh, yeah, whatever holds the fuel. It's not a stomach. Oh, nice. I really didn't take a photo of those. Why am I still dripping? Oh wow, this is... It seems the Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. It appears the picture from the Gardnerson was transferred to your Hyrule Compendium. You can't restore transfer pictures, so be careful of overriding it. Okay. Yeah, why am I still dripping wet? And it won't be free from now on either. Okay, keeping a lab like this has an expense. Okay, now it's stopped. Was it even rent? No, it is. Okay. That's weird. Need a picture. These are expensive. Right, so 2,300 will complete the set. How much is this? Let me figure out the calculator. Okay. Um, 5,000 for the weapons. 2,300. So that's 7,500. 14. I need about 10 grand to do this all. Give or take. I guess let's start with the enemy pictures. I'd like all of them, please. Ah. 
five. Okay, so how much do I need? I need... That's 2,600... 7,800. 7,800. Okay. Let's go get 7,800 in money. And then I need... 6,000 for the ancient set of armor as well. We'll head to that stable, and then I'll go do the other quest, so. But I'll be back here later. Concerning. I'll be curious to see how performance goes in the new game, whether they've done something about it or if it's still going to be roughly the same. into you. Dude. <laughs> Just swerves into me. crashed it a second time. It's only one crash so far. I hope I can keep it that way. I was thinking about it as well. I don't think the death count is going to really increase that much. The most dangerous thing has been done now. and It's not that Ganon is, may not kill me. Ganon could very well do it, but it's not going to I don't think it's going to reach 400. I, I doubt there's another 50 plus kills. money to buy my, I guess, soul back. <laughs> but it is effectively. But we're doing a few things. Stop to get money for a little bit. Go to Tabantha, get some fangs. And also that last quest in Tabantha. And that just leaves Wasteland region. Okay, it's basically out of fuel.
Oh, it's the king, the king of the mountain. That is, uh, that's an entry, but I guess at this point I may as well just buy it. I think I bought it. Hmm. I don't know if I should be concerned. A lot of micro stutters. That was the game. No, when you see the, the freeze like that, that's the, uh, that's the game. Anytime you've seen it, it's been the game. This game did have performance issues in certain areas. Which, it's, I mean, they've done their best to make this look as good as it can on the hardware it's running on, but there's just certain areas that the frame rate drops to like 20, if not lower, and then sometimes you get frame drops. Hey. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna talk to this dude for a little bit. Oh. Because I need to. Recover money. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, if I sell my the rest of my mate. Oh. How much do I have? Oh, I'm almost out of mate. Okay, I guess let's just get through this. That's yeah. Wow. I mean, the prime mate at the very least. I may need another source of income. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> I can only do this a few more times. Oh. so sad. I've, I've sold almost all my, my mate. Well, the prime stuff, anyway. pieces do I have left? I have nine. So I can do this three more times. I got to 2,000 at least. Ooh. So done with the mate stuff. Oh. oh, I have no, I have one more set of it. Glass set. Mate's gone. Okay. Maybe I have to murder some taluses. Oh. 
mean, probably not a bad idea. Just get a bunch of gems to sell. It's also a quick way to make money. There is a talus on that hill that I could go fight. I'm gonna have to start doing it, if I, especially if I want the money. <laughs> Shit, that just run. Yeah, it ran out of fuel right at the right moment. Cars, unfortunately. I 
I got a diamond out of that. Nice. Two diamonds. That kill was already worth a thousand. I know that's because of the other quests that gets you to, uh... To shoot the dragon horn. You have to do it at night. It'll still be a while before that happens. I just wish I could purchase from Beetle and not have him try to take my my beetles. Oh, it's already here. Just need to do it one more time. I'm pretty sure I got the other parts already. Yeah, I have the other parts already. It was merciful, I don't have to go all the way around. Did I beat Trial of the Sword? Uh-huh. And you know what? The middle stages and the last stages took combined took less time than the uh, the first set of stages, which just shows how bullshit that one floor is. If the one if those set of stages took six and a half hours, and then the remainder 
The remaining two thirds took four hours. Yeah. The middle trials, two tries. The final tries. The final trials was first try. So, I'm just doing quests now. In all honesty, I could probably finish this today. Right now, I'm just uh, getting some fangs from Din. And then I gotta go to uh, to Banther and pick up a quest called Find Keel. What the what the fuck? Why why is that allowed to happen? Ugh, this game of climbing. I have stamina. This is why it sucks to get stuff from this dragon. So whilst it's an easy shot, it's just getting back up. Rivali's so Gale is now ready. It's okay. Oh yeah, and the uh, the HD N64 is on its way, so got that organized now. It's just a matter of waiting. You know what? Do I need it? Should probably do it. There we go. Oh my god. Well, that's, that's just some timing right there. Okay, that's done now. Whoops. I suppose on the bright side, I can use the motorcycle down here. out of meat to sell as well, so I need to make money by, uh, taking out Talus. I mean, gourmet meat, not the, uh, the other meat. I guess at this point I may as well finish the game on three hearts I've done more than I did last time because Trial of the Sword was not on three hearts so I've definitely uh, achieved more than last time
Okay, there's two Talus here. There's one in the pits, and then there's one on high ground, so I'm going to the pits first. Assuming this one's not a pain to get, let's see. Okay, good. Oh, wanker. Up Master Sword is so good. And then by the time I get to the next one, it'll be recovered. Like it lives up to its name in this form. <laughs> this radish. Yeah, no, I'm not messing with that. I find it interesting that Trial of the Sword had gold bacoblins and moblins, but no Lizalfos, because it just goes to show how much more annoying they are. The silver ones were enough. Or is it? It's on its back. No, it's not. Okay. playing so badly. Could have gone better.
still chasing me. <laughs> it's, al it's almost out of fuel. I tell. I need to look at the shrine quest list as well, just make sure I have them all. Say there should be fish in here. So this is the person looking for 50 pieces of flint, which... Nah. Who am I talking to, anyway? I need to talk to Amali. And I'm probably gonna have to put on clothing because they won't talk to me otherwise. Person. What? I haven't seen... I haven't seen who they're referring to. Did I do the Flint Dude quest? I did, yeah, once. I'm just looking for someone called a Molly. She's the one up high, I had no idea.
said they told Mr. Canelli about the big incident. I'm still not entirely sure what happened at Warbler's Nest. So hang on. Have I done this one? Hold on. And I've done it. I guess I just missed it. So then, there's no need to be here. Well, I mean, I came here because I needed to get dragon stuff. But that was it. <laughs> okay, so it's onto Wasteland region now. I, I wish the sorting was better on the quest list. There's another talus nearby up here, so worth doing as well. Thankfully, most have been the variant where uh, the weak spot is on their head. So this would be a case where the glitch moon would be useful because it'd be going off and it would put the thallus back. This is worth it. Sounds 
opponent's back, which is kind of obnoxious to fight. Like, how do you how do you even fight this one? Honestly. Nah, this is too annoying. It's not worth the effort. Like, I can't even strike it. Careful. Kinda worth it. I saw a few topaz, not topaz, sapphires, and the they're high value. Well, that's just annoying. <laughs> How do you even fight this one? Yeah. annoying when it's on its back compared to the one where it's on top the one where it's on top is just so easy i was confused about how i could even hit it but then when it became obvious it's just like oh okay well it's not hard it's just not as straightforward as uh yeah as the other one One thing I'm very sad about, so I was looking at Paper Mario 64, and the PAL version of Paper Mario 64 is just ridiculously expensive compared to the uh, American version. So it's probably one of those things that the uh, European slash Australian release was like limited, and probably not as many copies got sold of that game. The, uh, the N64 has region locking, from what I remember. Play it on Switch, but I can tolerate the most awful design choice for great dots over the bezels for exactly zero good reason. Yeah, I know. I know. But see, the fun of it would be to use this thing. I mean, I've already played Mario 64. I don't really want to play the Zelda games because, you know, <laughs> fresh off them. But if I was to play an N64 game, Yo Yoshi's Story is something I haven't played, and I've heard it's fun. Or, uh, Star Fox 64, because I've never played it. It's called Lilat Wars, so that might be, like, a bit of a... bit of a difference, but yeah. I 
And this other game called Mischief Makers is pretty good as well. The, the thing is I don't want to subscribe to the expansion pass thing because I still don't think it's worth the money. It'd be nice if you could go full. Okay, it's, it's as good as it gets. A lot of the later games require. What do you mean a lot of the later games of what? You're saying like you need expansion pass to access DLC, you don't. They still sell the DLC separately. It's just you get it for free whilst you subscribe with the expansion pass, which Yeah, I don't know. I don't agree with that. I just I'd rather buy the DLC. Oh no, the expansion pack is different. Yeah, you do need that. Um, because that was effectively a bit more memory for the N64, and certain games like Donkey Kong, for example, which came with that bundled in, it couldn't run without it because there was just this bug they couldn't fix, and the only fix they found for it was giving more memory, so that's why that game came bundled with it. I already have that. I was talking about the expansion pass. For uh, NSO online, NSO, yeah, Nintendo Switch online. It's just the cost of it per month for what you get. It's it's not worth it. Still isn't. Not while they continue to just trickle out games. And honestly, the experience I have these things I've acquired is, is better. I mean, the way I'm playing Game Boy games is most definitely better. The N64 library is pretty small, so th there's only really a handful of games that I'm kind of interested in. Paper Mario is one of those ones that I would love to have, but just, I guess, that's what sucks about being in Australia. I'll see if there's a way to remove region locking, because honestly, I can import a copy from America and save, like, I'm not exaggerating, $200. <laughs> It's kind of insane how much the price differs for the, uh, the European slash Australian version. And I guess because maybe the game didn't sell well, but... I couldn't believe it when I saw it. And then there's uh, the Kirby 64 game, which is the other expensive one that I would want to try, but it's just like, eh. I may have to resort to just getting the NSO thing. 
for like a month and then just cancelling it once I'm done with it. Because once once I've I've gone through the retro games I want to play, there's there's no reason to have it. They don't release games as frequent. And it's just DLC for games that I already have and games that I'm not playing, so... Anyway, I'm coming here because I accidentally deleted this photo. Just in case. The only Nintendo 64 game that people make a big deal over is GoldenEye. Because that has online multiplayer and they did improve it, but outside of that, it's just eh. It's just one of those things that was great for its time, but I feel like it, it probably did not age as well as people would think. Like, it's just a nostalgia hit, and not a whole lot more. Almost messed that up. Kill one more time. Hey, Coloran, good morning. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, at least it's nice for that. Bring up all this to dentist an hour away. Oof, good luck. Huck. Hoping that's that's an hour including traffic. <laughs> Forget, okay, can you use this here? You can't. Yeah, so we're reliant on Sand seals. I don't see the reason why you can't use that here. Yeah. 
traffic on a good day having no accidents. Ugh. Yeah. Like looking more and more likely, like I might finish this today. I'm kind of running out of quests. I think as long as it doesn't rain, that's usually when things go bad. When it rains, there's just more accidents. People don't know how to cope. Okay, so now I need this. I said I said it should be good. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I don't miss that having to drive places that are uh, at least an hour away. Aside from my parents and family, but. Adult commitments. Dread going there every six months. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Just whenever you drive a long distance, you're, I don't know how about you, but I'm just tired afterwards because it like, takes an hour to get there, an hour to get back, and it's just... You get home and you just, you just feel like, ugh, don't want to do anything. Gavali's Gale is now ready. And then you have to go back to work. Oh. Right. Yeah, that too. See the sparkles. They were just here for a minute. That's interesting. Is there a cap to the number of fairies you can carry? Oh, it doesn't matter. You could use PTO, but you like to save Christmas. Yeah, that's fair. I said a new deep dive record. You came to me. Clothing uh -huh. enhanced, yes. Okay, let's see this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that face makes me laugh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, not that. Okay, huh? that's it. Huh? Everything is fully upgraded for the final set. How's my day? Uh, it does alright. I mean, it's just work today. Not really a whole lot else. Just busy, busy. See, so yeah, I mean, I don't know if upgrading some of these other ones are worth it. I 
can't be bothered. Like, it's, it's... Maybe the champion's one at the very least. Mm -hmm. That one's a strong one. These are already requiring dragon parts. Mm. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't do that. I mean, if it's gonna take my buff away, eh, let's just do it. I can make one potion later. Huh? <laughs> oh. All the quests done. Uh, not yet. I just gotta get to the Garuda area, and then I'm going to go for the EX chests after that. Okay. No, that's it. Okay. And I can probably get more horns. The EX chests, uh, DLC. There are uh, the costumes you get. So they're just scattered around the place and you just have to read the clue and then go to the location and then you find a chest hidden there. I've already gotten a few, like I got... The Korok Mask is an EX one, technically, but, um, Tingle's outfit is another one. Like, which one? So, like, uh, Phantom Ganon, Tingle's shirt, the Royal Guard, what else? The Xenoblade Chronicles crossover thing. Yeah, there's a few. I can just cut across here. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm surfing on the Hylian shield. Just realized. I was like, where's my Hylian shield? Oh, because I'm surfing on it. Disguise myself, because it, despite saving their heirloom and, uh, I don't know, saving their town, quite frankly, they're still not letting me in here. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Didn't just see me do 
do that, like change into this outfit. It's a different color. Different color. Okay. Um. Send to the champion bars so I keep dying only a quarter of a heart is hard. Wait, champion's ballad. Oh, you mean yeah. The one the one where you get one hit. And you just have to take it one enemy at a time. Use stasis and just run away if more than one gets your attention. I mean, the advantage is like that thing you get one shots everything, so. Okay, let's see. Some of these are expensive. Getting them for, I guess, completionism. I got topaz already, right? You're working on it, you're stubborn, don't give up. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the stubbornness, which is like, it's a quality where you shouldn't be trying because it's not within your capability and you're just fooling yourself and you're not listening to reason. And then there's the one where you, you're capable and you don't give up. That's tenacity. So I like to think of it as tenacity. If it's something that's doable, and you don't give up, it's tenacity. Mm -hmm. Stubbornness is someone being an idiot and not listening to reason, and it's quite clear that what they're trying to do is a waste of time, and will ne like in no reality will it happen. But it's for something where it's just like you just need to work at it and. Uh, keep trying, and even though it might take a while, that's tenacity. They're kind of one of the same, it's just one is like, is able to listen to reason and take advice, and the other one's just, you're just being a jackass. Okay, so I need to find... hang on. There's quite a few, so there's... Medicinal Mulduga, the Eighth Heroine, the Forgotten Sword, the Mystery Polluter, the Search for Bata, and I... there's... there's quite a few. Okay, so... 
Melina in Gerudo Town. Some of some of these don't have names. The bark. Ah. Hmm. I'm not finding any of these quests. There should be quite a bunch of them here, but they're not here. Hey. Hmm. Nah, it's just I can't find the actual NPCs. It's not a glitch. I just can't find the NPCs I'm supposed to talk to. Because it just says their name and that they're in the Gerudo town, but doesn't say where. Doesn't give specific instructions. Okay, a little while ago, the Sand Hill and Tooth was spooked by a monster that ran off. Okay. No, but I thought it was a quest. What? What is this? Okay, she wanders around Gerudo Town, so she's not in a fixed spot. So that's, uh, yeah, that's annoying. picture. I'm not sure it helps. Most of these NPCs look the same. They're pretty similar. Busy gathering information. Okay. Oh, it's the rumor mill check. Maybe I should just stand still. And just wait. How have I not run into any anyone quest related?
I have an answer to where she is. Ugh. I finally found the verb of my dreams and I just recently married him. I thought I had found happiness, but then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the guts of a Mulduga, but I would never be able to take such a creature down myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but why would they want to help me? The Mulduga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. Mm. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd come back. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> hey. <sighs> Take him. Wait, these? Mulduga guts? You, you'll give these to me? Oh, sucks, so. This is all I have to thank you, but I insist you take it. Nice. This will save him. Okay, that's one. The eighth heroine. Okay, this person will be outside. casually carrying around guts. I mean, I'm casually carrying around about 700 pieces of meat. So yeah, hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm as tenacious as a tick. And I think some of them meant it in a nice way too. So, you out here on your own, pretty rough and tumble. Wanna hang out with me for a while? Love sand jogging. Ah, I see you notice these old things. Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, grab, if you grab a quiet corner and give me the boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but wait, this is a golden chance to woo. I'm sure I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster, but first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroine? Eighth heroine? Everyone's heard the legend in the Garuda region about seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth one. Wiped clean from history. No one knows why or how. A phantom heroine, known to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her, show me. Yep, I'll go look. I'm done. I got snow boots. Marry her? What? This person? Many have investigated, but it's an unscrutable legend. An unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Ms. Boots spins her wheels on it, will glow, grow closer and closer and then... Okay. I'm just... Look at this. <laughs> that certainly is the way it was rumored to look. That, uh... that's amazing. I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The eighth heroine actually exists. If the rest of the world knew this, I'd be, it'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Mm. Yeah, that way it'll be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you. Sand boots, please. Oh. Okay. 
Just a second, I'll take them off. Okay. Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Uh, now, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, all Bo's eyes are going to be barefoot. Ah. Uh, well, we're done here. Boy, these will make running in the sand pretty difficult. I'm pretty tired anyway from jogging my jogging regiment. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of the Gerudo town and take five. Care to join me later? Goodbye. Huh? Aw. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. I need to find him again. Set at the front of town, so hang on. There you are. Uh. You. You came, I mean, hey, yeah, of course, I figured you'd swing by. Yep, do the old swing by. We didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh, total whirlwind. Wanna hang out? I want snow boots. Mm -hmm. What? You want my snow boots too? Ha, ah, well, aren't we greedy, or should I say insatiable for boots? A boot thirst cannot be slaked. Aww. Adorable, but listen, if I give you these, then I'll have nothing for my feet. Mm. Oh man, what should I do? Think, Bozai. I can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. Mm. How could I resist a request from you? No lie, you really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again like that. And I'll give you these snow boots as a surprise yeah. present. Let me ask you this. Did you notice that the 8th statue of the heroine isn't exactly holding a sword? Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have swords. Suspicious, you know? Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have. Mm. To see that such a sword actually exists, that my deduction is right. That could... That... Yeah. There could be no greater surprise. Done. Okay. That could have been carried too far. Somewhere in the... Yeah, okay. Oh. I can't leave snow boots, can't do it. A normal person can make it through Gerudo Highlands without good snow boots. Probably go halfway and come crawling back. Mm. Fine, you win. So that's wrong, I love it. I'll just be waiting here, okay? If you ever need me for anything above and beyond footwear, just come find all Burzai anytime. Oh. You. <sighs> the traveler swore he saw you in the Gerudo Highlands, so I've been gnawing on my fingernails with worry. I mean, all that talk about sword was just chit chat. I didn't think you'd go up there without snow boots. Anyway, you okay? Feast your eyes. <laughs> what? It really exists? Mm -hmm. And you went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots? I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I could survive there, and I'm burly. Who are you? The snow boots. Oh. Yeah, you did risk your life to fulfill your promise, after all. Be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Just wait a second, I'll take him off. Uh, well, now I'm barefoot, uh, but if you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, this whole episode has endeared you even more to me. Your cutely greedy aside, your sassy, playfully rude side, your unexpectedly tough side, um, would you? Go, go, go out? With not a chance. <laughs> I knew you would say that, but would it have killed you to let me finish the question? Yeah. All business. Okay, so that's done. Now, the polluter, which I know how to do. Oh. 
poor Bertha, I just wanted to snuggle. <laughs> Looking for someone called Dahlia. I think my doorbell's going off. It's like another lost driver. They keep ringing. Uh, give me a minute. It's not free food. It's just once again person being idiot. Just insisting. Oh, oh. oh. You sure you didn't order anything? You sure this isn't the address? I wonder if maybe I'd just talk to this person directly. I mean, it's this is either the start or the answer.
Yeah, that's just the answer. But I want to find the person that gives me this quest. Apparently it's a daytime thing. This is the spot. I just, I guess, just wait for her here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, we just need to wait for her here. <laughs> Shit, I should have refilled my water bottle. It's okay. Uh, what else do I need to do? There's another one in the Garuda Barracks. And there's another ice. Oh no, I've done the ice one. Okay, that's fine. And I've done tools of the trade. Is that you? Oh, there we go. What are you doing? Still keeping a secret from her. Okay. Right, but like. What? But you're not... You're not giving me the quest. So I found her. Let's go there. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, I can't eat with your judgmental eyes when we go away. What? Okay. Okay, I think I've messed it up. It says I need to talk with her before I talk with um the one doing the the garbage stuff. Okay. Um it's fine. Till noon. Oh, wait, I should have done noon again. Morning. There we go. Okay, this should be 
good now. Now I just need a white. <laughs> Again. Look at all, look at all the rhymes. the kid here we go Truth is, I'm going to, I'm growing a secret fruit garden here, but don't tell anyone, it's a secret, I haven't told anyone. Ah. I haven't figured out what to plant though yet. Yeah. Share some information with you. Okay, so... Wait, but she just hasn't said that the water's too polluted. It's interesting because this says specifically at noon. Why noon? What's up, lady? What you doing? I feel like I told you this already, but truth is, growing second garden. Okay, haven't figured out what to plant there yet. What? Another side quest that I'm missing. Ah, uh, okay. This makes sense. What's the champion's arm? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, hang on. When I wrote War the Thunder Helm and fought by his side, I thought I heard a name called out on the wind. Read you. Hey, I hadn't been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice. It must have belonged to a versa. Oh. Such insolence. Even deeds as valorous as yours, you do not earn the right to speak so to the chief. Let it go, Bullyrell. 
Being called by my name every once in a while isn't so bad. Oh, oh that is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the high pride of our people. Huh? Be calm yourself, Bulliara. You desire this helm? I want it. I see, and yet despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give you such a precious thing to you, but you are up against the enemy of L Lady Obersa. If you truly desire, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Oh, yes, lend it to me. Well, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. Uh... And now... Okay. Well, I mean, I've done all the other ones. Except... No. So I need to do this one and then the next one. That kind of explains it. Ugh, vi from out of town, Savak. I wanted to plant an orchard. I picked up trash, pulled weeds, tilled the ground. I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make soil happy, but... But... The trash... All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough. And now I can't use water there anymore. If I can't use water anymore, my orchard is doomed. Okay. Yeah, what an asshole. Look at this. I was just walking on I was just walking on the edge there. I wasn't walking on anything. What's with you? How can I enjoy my snack without you staring at me? With you staring at me, huh? Buzz off, actually. Mm? What? Garbage? A small vise and just having trouble? Oh, sure. You spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle? Well, no. I do what I want. Uh? Oh, don't look at me like that. Fine. Fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry, and I can hold off on eating so many melons. Got it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ten. Stop. Stop. Oh. I haven't been thinking about trash at all. Who can think while in a melon trance? I just can't believe the rinds I'm tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Well, anyway, I feel bad about the little vi. But I'm going to need at least 10 to stop. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> Sweetness. So that's a wild berry. It's delicious and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. <laughs> if I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. Mm. But now I feel bad for the little Vi. Now that my craving's been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm going to help clean up the trash. I've caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm going to make it right. Talk so. You, listen to this. Some other Vi I've never met before helped me clean up the trash, and now the water trough is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? Sucks, so. Oh, I also got a hydromelon from the lady who cleaned up. I'll share. It's a uh, sucks so for caring about me. Oh, uh, yeah, the lady who helped clean up. Wait, the lady who helped clean gave me some wild berries. So now my field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come eat the berries anytime, it'll be great. Okay. So that's done. Alright, um, it's been about two hours, so I'm gonna take a small intermission. I just wanna refill my beverage and, uh, yeah, stretch my legs for a couple of minutes. But if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying it and, uh, yeah, consider doing that fun algorithm stuff if you wanna support. Alright, bye YouTube.